Your show. Yeah, what time is it? Your show. Yeah, what time is it? Your show. Yeah, he's back from the dead. Your show. Putting it on the map, yeah. Saskatoon. Right next to New York. New York. Yeah, what show, yeah. Your show. What time is it? Your show. Yeah, time to talk some shit, yeah. Your show. Yeah, yeah fun Maggie. Bark Bark Wolf 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 on the tree, yeah. Keep listening. I think we could all use a treat as Friday has arrived yet again like a beautiful, warm, cozy hug that you've been waiting only six days for from whenever the last one was. Welcome to it. This is your show. I am your host, Gary. Welcome to it. As far as I know, we should start fact-checking soon, but as far as I know... The only live show on YouTube between 4 and 5, Monday to Friday, in at least Saskatoon. At least on the east side. You know, maybe maybe more, maybe less, but we're going to go with that so far. Hopefully, the work week has been fantastic. You're getting the hell out of there. And uh, if not, we are here to help you, you know, ease the pain if you still got to work a little bit. As you can hear us on Spotify and on audio places, uh, Apple Podcasts and stuff like that. I've been getting in trouble for not knowing the names of those things, but, you know. That is the way it goes. That's why, that's why you got me. I didn't want to bring him in yet, but uh, the surprise has been broken. I, you don't even get to use the walk-up music, bro. I didn't know there was walk-up oh, music. Oh, play the walk-up music. We, we got the Phenom in the booth there on the ones and twos. Play the walk He's got a headphone in, too, so he can hear it. I hope he doesn't know how to do it. Oh, he does. We've done it already <laughs> a couple of times. Here it comes. Hold on. Wait for it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Network Ryan! Or, or boo! Boo, you yeah, suck, boo, jackass. Yeah, yeah, and his kids one. here make him feel bad. <laughs> Don't swear. I, I did jackass in there, I swear. Uh, shout out to Valor over there on the couch. Yeah. Watching Dad do his thing. What do you think of the paper boy walking? Fantastic. It's awesome. I know that uh, Coach Mazur liked it too, and yeah. his son liked it. Do you think he actually used it as his walk-up music at the baseball ah, tournament man. out in uh, Sherwood Park? What what if what if he did and he like went full full tilt and was throwing papers or baseballs like over the the crowd safety netting and stuff? That would be fantastic. Yeah, the power of the paper boy theme. Thank yeah. you to Matt Cuthbertson from all the bands, all of them, including Untimely Demise and Raven Witch and Into Eternity. That's, That's it. That's how I sort of describe them through the tone of my voice. Hey, I got a bone to pick with you. Prove it. As I usually do when I come on Fridays. I do Here the Friday go. spot because... I was so excited to see you, and then I forget you do this to me I got to do the Friday spot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so okay. Spotify. Spotify. Apple Podcasts. I'm pretend to write this down. Say, say bye to my friend Greg, too, by the way. Pretty good intro, right? Pretty see cool. See you, Greg. See you, Greg. Man, I love Don't that. walk in front of the camera, please. please. Hey, he's, he's Absolutely. <laughs> Have fun on your trip. <laughs> Have fun on your trip. Thank we you. love you. Appreciate you. Can't wait to see you when get back. There awesome. Love that, man. Okay, sorry. Spotify. 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 Apple Podcast. Apple Podcast. Pretending to write it down. YouTube. YouTube, yes. Uh, l- l- let's call it YouTube Podcasts because Is it's... Is that a thing? Yeah, Google kind of eliminated their podcast thing. Smart. And this is the catch-all, and you can use this one. Right? Okay. You could write this one down like in real life. You could say, anywhere you find your podcasts. Only because you're sitting right beside me. There you go. That's where you can find everything on the Dufferin Avenue Media Network, including... Here it comes. I was for this. this is why we call it super, Network Riot. Super exciting newest show on the network, One Bad Podcast. Woo! KD and Shaner from One man. Bad Son. How oh, awesome man, so dudes, fun. Eh? Actually, I haven't got excited to like hit submit or save or launch on a piece of content in a good long while, especially Excuse not for your me, show. Sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> I couldn't even talk there for a second. You took it right out of my mouth. What's, uh, yeah, I can't even argue because I was, again, you were there for all those recordings too. It's so good, man. Yeah, man. Insightful, funny, interesting. Just talking about music and the the history of like a friendship flowering from when they met to when they got into yes. a band to when they started to play and the struggles and gigs you go and drive the bands yeah, when man. when like not even kidding these are guys that toured with like Sebastian Bach yeah. and Skid Row and it's they like they know the Ozzy Osbourne and yeah. Zach Wild and they're talking about the all Stones, these bands man, man. they know all these guys yeah and oh they. They're, they're just talking about it like it's not a big deal. That's the beauty of it. And another thing that I really appreciate about this One Bad Podcast 
is you don't have to be a fan of the band. You don't have to be a fan of music. It transcends everything. It, you it know really what? does. And I, I say that coming from a guy who knows them and likes the band. You know what I mean? Yes. When, when you have people just talking about their life experience and, and, and making it about like the everyday stuff and struggles that people go through. Yeah. You don't need to be a musician to know what it feels like to struggle in your day-to-day -day job or so to have no nowadays, money or to feel yeah. like there's a time crunch or to, to feel stressed when you're trying to work or build a relationship while you're in university or school or whatever it is, right? Yeah. And that's the kind of stuff they're tackling all while also talking about going on tour with the with stories. all these famous the bands so and and being like actually ultra cool rock yeah. musicians, right? That's it, man. So super cool. And origin story. Everyone loves hearing origin story. That's what yeah. one of the big first questions all the bands always go, so how did the band get started? How do you guys get together? And then there's there's so much more that comes out of that and their story is no, no different, and you'll have to listen to the podcast to get the full oh, story. Oh, yeah, episode one. There it is. Episode one, one bad pod, ep one, the launch, or the kickoff. And then episode yeah. two, also live, we did two this week. We did. And we're going to do one every Friday from now on out. Yes. Uh, Friday morning on the Dufferin Avenue, the damn YouTube channel. There it is. Right? And they talk about... Well, yeah, the origin story in Ep 1. Ep 2 was like inspirations and, and kind of finding their sound. And I know that for the next few episodes, they really talk about that. And they sort of address the listeners. I think that this is the coolest part is they address the, the audience as if they're talking to fledgling musicians, right? Yeah. Like, we didn't know what our sound was. I just thought like any any rock or any singer can sing any genre and we tried to be a metal band and we couldn't we couldn't cut it and all this stuff right like and it's yeah. and it's humble to hear these guys say oh well we couldn't do it and we felt like we were struggling and everything sucked and here here's guys that like they got millions of downloads and and they're successful and yep. they're famous and they've toured and it's these guys just being humble talking about kind of thinking they suck that's <laughs> it's very real in that way and i i totally agree that this should be I don't want to say like must listen because it's so stock and cliche oh, to yeah, say, you, but if you're, you, if you're a band. You if, have to listen. You, go. you <laughs> if, have to. If you are a band struggling, trying to figure how the hell do you get off the ground in this business? What do we got to do? Yeah. This is a literal how-to. What do I call it? Like a hitchhike, hitchhiker's guide to, uh, rock, and to roll. rock and roll. Oh, I like to that. how to get there. Yeah, and I that, like that. That's from a uh, little previously recorded interview I did with KD, which we're going to play here oh, soon. Yeah. After I was going to say, that sounds like a podcast title. And that's exactly, it's funny, that's what he's, that's exactly what he said, too. You'll see it here in a couple minutes well, when we get okay. to it. Here, here's, here's some of, this is what I wanted to talk about the yes. show for real about. Not just to hype it up and promo it, because I think it's good and you should listen. Yeah, it is all that. But of course, I was talking to KD, and from the first time I met him, I was like, hey, this guy's actually, this guy's legit. I know somebody's legit from the first time when they call me Rye Guy. Rye Guy. <laughs> Rye Guy. He's like, What's yeah, up, Rye Guy? Right? right? And it's funny. It's he's true. sitting here talking. They've done a few recordings. We've got a bunch in the tank. And every time him and Shane will do something, I'll hop on the mic and tell Shane something. Or I'll say, hey, we got to adjust this microphone. Or yeah. I'll, I'll do the Network Ryan stuff, right? And I'll be yeah. telling him, hey, that's like a podcast title, right? That's, that's what we're going to call that episode, right? It. And, it, and it happens once a show where they make some really insightful comment yeah. or some funny joke yeah. And it ends up being the title of the podcast. And that's like a little peek behind the curtains. It, it's not like, it's not like they're faking it till they make it. No, but that's yeah. For me, having done it for a decade now, it's like, oh man, I get to relive all of these fun firsts, like the first launch, the first promo, the first it's download, wild, the man. first subscriber, the yeah. first, you know, recording. How do we do this? What do we do? How do we do this? And, and that's been, what's been, that's, what's been so much fun for me working with, with the Dufferin Avenue Media Network over the last two or three months. Absolutely. Super fun. It's, it's, and we, as much as we love to rip on you, we wouldn't be anywhere without you. And you know we don't do, uh, what, what do you call it? We don't do the emotions or anything because we're, we're manly men, but you know how we all feel about you. So oh, that's, that's oh, one no, thing. Oh, we, no, we don't do the emotions because you'll just cry all so, over YouTube. That's true. That's also <laughs> true. Even though I, I like to say the microphone is sort of like my my armor when it comes your, to it. Cause every time I feel sponge. like I'm going to start tearing, I just get, my, yeah. everything's uh, good. Oh, another peek behind the curtain. Here we go. This is it. You have a, like a little pop filter on your microphone. It's actually like a, a sponge. Yeah. It's I called a mic sock. It's called a tear sponge. Oh, he's being funny again. <laughs> 
he's bringing the jokes. Watch me get right out of that. Getting back to the boys and recording, they talk about all of these different things, and every single time we cut off an episode, it always leads into the next one because they get going on something. They do an episode, and then that something leads into something they really want to talk about. And it's like, ah, oh, like the cliffhangers. It's a Sylvester Stallone mixtape with all the oh, cliffhangers yeah. out here that they leave you with because each story just grows into another bigger one. They're like, oh, my God, what big, I want to know more. And you know it's legit because they literally say it on the air. It's like, oh, man, I got so much more to say about that, you know? And it's just organic growth is so rare in a world now where everything has to be now, 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 here, yeah. here, go, go, go. Yeah. And it's just, it's just overflowing with that organic feel of these stories that they share. And it's just so cool. I'm mean, so proud to be a part of it. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to adjust question, Malige. Adjust question. I like this. Uh, can we say Ace Ventura 2 intro cliffhanger? <laughs> do you remember that? Yes. With the helicopter and the raccoon falls. Yes, I do. And he's like, no! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what That's, a great yeah. drop. That's well done. Yeah. Um, okay, so we got okay. that launched and we it's got going business, on all the stuff. We got some business. We do have some business. It's the final day of something that you've been passionately working on for the last month. Again. Oh, you that, did that, that one on, on purpose. purpose. You did that on purpose. Just so we could get to $450. $450 for the Saskatoon Food Bank and Learning Center during their citywide food drive going on the entire month of May. Every time I used my crutch that... If you don't know what a crutch is, it's where you have a word that you use way more often than you should to help you create time to think in your brain about what you're about to say next about something. Hey, there's a little peek behind Gary's curtain. I've had a lot of crutches over the years, oh, not yeah. just not just from the old body falling apart either, if you know what I mean. Lots of curtains over the years. Ooh, yes, don't Google that. Don't stay away. Stay away. Stay away. So we are now at four hundred and fifty dollars, and that includes a one hundred dollar donation from Mum and Dad. Hey. Thank you again, Mum and Dad, for that as well. Uh, Aquaman throwing some money in, matching. We got some money in the booth there. We even had Ugly Kid Joel, who made his debut yesterday, oh, who we know from Hometown way. Rock, and he yeah. killed it like he always does. Yeah. Such I, a sweet prince. Man. He made a $20 donation there yesterday on there air as go. well. So we are up to $450, and I believe we are going to be matching that with our friends at Aquaman. So we're going to have a nice donation to make to the Citywide Food Drive as it is the final day. Head to saskatoonfoodbank.org right now. Make a monetary donation and help out as the need is bigger than ever as they roll into basically... It's the second hardest or probably about the same as far as amount of people they need to get to because all of the food and money they raise during the holiday season has all pretty much run out and they're about to go into the no school lunch program season yeah. where yep. there's a whole bunch of people who need help. So it's very important. A couple uh, hours left in the day here today to donate to the Citywide Food Dri Drive at the SaskatoonFoodBank.org. We're going to get Lori uh, either in here or, or on Zoom for our final donation. Oh, yeah. And uh, we'll thank them for all that they do one more time. Oh, we that's, that's tons of fun. And bank. you know yes. what? Uh, makes you feel good. It really does. And that is what this place is all about, right? Without, without getting mushy, here's the thing. <laughs> without getting mushy is, I think, in, in the when we, when we talk about, you know, I always say to you, over the last eight to 10 years that I've been doing, doing, doing what I've been a while, doing, yeah. I don't think I can think of a time where anything good has happened to me that hasn't been... <laughs> I almost, almost in our first spit take. I was real close. I don't think Ooh. I can think of a time when anything good has happened to me that isn't the direct result of me doing something else for somebody. And it doesn't need to be a big thing like donating $450 or $900 when Aquaman... Uh, matches or anything it could be as simple as you know what like saying to uncle brando on on commander cookout hey i'll do it this week or, or i'll take care of this or send me the show i'll get it edited whatever it is some small just act of kindness and and again it sounds mushy and all kumbaya -y and that's not really how i talk but it's it makes it more special when you do because a guy like me that talks like that all the time it loses its luster and its power <laughs> So when you do it, it has an authoritative thump on it, which I appreciate. Uh, I'm going to thump you with kindness. That's it. That's, that, that sounds about right as far as this goes. I had Auntie Susie trying to call me here three times now. I was over at uh, Elmwood yesterday. They had their big grand opening for their new place uh, in Stonebridge. 
And I was talking to Jana, working oh, over yeah. at Elmwood. We're going to get Elmwood on here. Well, we were talking Rachel, the executive director. We, she was in Louisiana on a vacation, but oh, she's yeah. gonna, I, think, I think she's back now, so we're going to have a talk. But I was talking to Jana, who runs the excursions for all of the uh, residents. Yeah. And I said, Jana, when are we getting them in? We've got, we got everything ready to go. With this whole part over here is all accessible. Jana? Ready. Jana? Jana, yeah. Jana. Jana. I'm looking right at the Tell camera. Her. Jana. Make it happen. <laughs> the, the funny part is she's just like us. She wants to, but as you know with... Uh, these certain types of organizations, you got to run through a whole bunch yeah, of hoops and yeah, get stuff all going. So that's the big joke yes, now sir. is, are we getting close? Like, I think so. So uh, to Jana and everyone else over at uh, Auntie Susie's place, we love yeah. you and appreciate you greatly. And uh, to Auntie Susie, yes, I'm still picking you up at one o'clock on Sunday to take you to Granny, so don't worry. Just had to get that out of the way. Oh, you want to get the Mega Cam going? <laughs> I do. I, I, mean, I got the treat. Margaret, come on over here. Come here. If Valor wasn't so cute. Oh, yeah. Well, he's a kid, eh? And she loves kids. Can you, can you get her butt, Noah? Let's do it. Let's get the fluffy butt, Noah. Yeah, yeah there the it is. Oh, oh, I, the she, fluffy butt. Did I had the it? treat. She clipped me with a tooth. <laughs> she would never. <laughs> Did she have to get you? She's usually so gentle. She's, she's How about fine. this? This And you being network, Ryan, you could vouch for this. This is the biggest star. This is the reason people come here. Is right oh, here. Yeah. Maggie Cam for our friends over at Pet Planet on A Street, your pet's natural grocer. Mike and Rochelle, the whole team over there doing incredible, incredible things, not just for your dog or your cat, but for you as well. Uh, you can go say hi to their, their dog, Leroy, who likes to walk Maggie around whenever she comes in. Leroy's just a little guy, so it's super funny. And now uh, there she is making the little turn back. Look at that. I go. just love the Maggie cam so much. Maggie, if, if Valor calls you her, are she'll all turn around. It. Do it again, Valor. Go for it. Maggie. Look at that. The old oh, back look, hey? The old back look. Well, this old thing, yeah, there, there she, she goes. goes. There she's hopping away. <laughs> Beautiful. I love the Maggie cam. All right, there Network Run, is there anything else you want to get to here today before we uh, send it on over to KD? You know what? KD's going to do a better job of me, like, getting you excited for one bad <laughs> podcast, but for myself, it was a pleasure to work on it thus far. I can't wait to see kind of how it evolves and, and the new... But people who find it, who find Dam and, and become part of our, our network and our audience and want to work with us and and want to do shows with us or advertise with us. Where would they go? Duffernav.com. There it is. How about that? Duffernav.com. It's just that easy. If And I'll do the spiel for you. If you are a current creator and you want a platform or if you want to learn how to create, we can we can call it like consultations or yeah. packaging like a do a media package where like we can that. do sort of produce a podcast or edit kind of but yeah. but really but really talk talk about just kind of how to get stuff off the ground and if that ends up being on the Dufferin Avenue Media network that would be cool absolutely and if you want to advertise with us same place Dufferin Ave it goes right to <laughs> Cat's out of the bag here. It goes right to Gary and my, what? my phones. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> so no, it, wait, we have a whole organization there, right? Answer I know, but you're the boss. You're the spearhead. You are you are the no. spearhead. You you say that it's me, but really, you're the guy that's standing in front. And on all of the applications and things that I put in for and do, they got your name all over them. <laughs> what's the what's the term for the like the the figurehead, the person at the front that does literally nothing? There is like a face. It's like a face for it. Uh, like you, you make all the choices. You guys, we have so many people way smarter than me that make all the big choices that I'm just like the guy, like hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. It, that, and that's what that's what we want. That's how it works. So, I hit up Duffernab.com at this point, just like our friends at Nickel Plumbing and Heating. Sick. Love those guys. Awesome. You were asking about that dirty hat. Oh yeah, here's the dirty hat, the old dirty yeah, special edition. I love that one. And that uh, autograph on the front there, that is, I believe, look at that. That's my grandpa. That's oh, my grandpa's wow. autograph that. when he started. Hey, established in 1968. Love, that's one of my designer ones. And that's got the logo on the back. There you go. Yeah, so just a little, little bit of coolness the, for uh, you on our little table of there's awesome. There's the hat, yeah. yeah. Coolness on the table, awesome. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got the merch. We've got and we, you know what? we got to start giving it away because the table's yeah, getting full. Yeah, it is filling up. Our friends at Aquaman. Underwater drones, man. We're making them cool. You know we're what we're going to do? Underwater drone inspection with Aquaman. We, we are totally going to put that on Brooksy. Wendy Brooks Media. That's she that is going to do biz, baby. all of yep. that for us. And, and she legit... I always say, and it's the best best tag you could ever use for a business. If you hate social medias, she'll fix it for you. She does it all. There you and go. And that's, that's a huge praise coming from a guy who truly hates all of social medias. And he does, trust me. And look at us go on all the social medias. <laughs> it's, it's not lost on me, trust me. All right. All right, let's cut uh, to I love you. Thank you for uh, hanging out. And uh, Phenom, if you want, let's go ahead and jump right into our previously recorded taping with the one and only Kurt Dahl from One Bad Son. One Bad Pod, I guess we say. It's been a big day 
for this fella right here sitting beside me. His name is Kurt Dahl. You know him as the drummer lawyer from One Bad Son, also as the co-host of One Bad Pod, launching earlier this morning. My man, how you doing? Uh, feeling great, buddy. Yeah, this is this is so much fun. I, I had to go through some episodes and cut some promo clips that we've been running. There's so much good stuff in here. It was so hard to find like certain things because every sort of topic you guys cover is so damn interesting. Hey, like, do you notice that when you guys were doing it or are you sort of just like, well, don't really think about all the stuff you talked about? No, well, I mean, I think what I find is every time we start a topic, all of a sudden it's like we, we run out of time. So that, that, to me, that's a good sign, right? It's like, a very good and sign. we try, I'm trying to make this thing. And so is Shane, like not just about OBS. I mean, OBS is, is sort of the backbone of it. Yes. But what is it like to be a musician in the 21st century? And how do you go from playing to five people who don't even like you to playing to, you know, 5,000 or whatever, right? So, um, you know, it's, it's a journey of a rock and roll band in the yes. modern age. Is rock and roll dead? Tune in to find out. It's sort of like a hitchhiker's guide to rock and roll. Oh, that sounds like that, get real technical, right? That should be a, a title That's of one of the episodes. Cool. Yeah, be because you literally talk about the things that you went through and tell new bands trying to make it to avoid. And you're helping sort of pave that road for them to be successful. Well, yeah, that's, I think we, from the outset, Shane and I, like we don't want to just have you one of those like, okay, I'll you don't want to be preachy. Well, that, and also just so many uh, what you're bands say. or rock stars, all of a sudden it's like, I was playing in my room one day in my garage, next thing I was Slash, you know, and, and they don't go no all journey. the journey. So we're trying to like talk about all the warts and all the ugly stuff in, yeah. That all the all the failures, right? In life, you have way more failures than successes. That that's so just true. that's just how it is. If you if you want to become good, right? And we uh, we want to talk about those failures and talk about the hard times, right? Um, the successes when you get them, it's just like there's actually there's not much of a story behind. It's like, okay, yeah, we b busted our ass for 15 years and we we got a number one song, but it's those 15 years of busting your ass that really you know, led to that, right? That would be a really boring one bad pod if that's all it was. We're like, yeah, we started and then we did it. And uh, no, end of story. That end was quick. Story. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for joining. But w w as a guy who has been here when you've been doing these and a guy that sort of knows your journey, I feel like I have sort of a different view of all of it. What, what would you say to someone who's been a big OBS fan their whole lives and comes into this? Like, what would the best be the best way to describe what, the journey they're about to go on. Well, I think if, if you're a big fan, like I think you'll really dig it because we're going into, we never shared some of these stories. And I don't even, think you shared like any of them. Like there's a lot of stuff I didn't know and it yeah. blew my mind. Well, that, and that's the great thing about this podcast format is we can actually dig in, right? Like as you know, in, in you know mainstream radio, you've got about 10 seconds to get the point in or 20 seconds maybe. Um, so it's to actually have that long format to dive into stuff. And as you probably noticed when Shane and I are talking, it's like, we forgot about these stories yeah. until we started getting into it. Like, what, like we, we don't you build off of them and you add to this. Yeah, it's so cool. It's like you're discovering it at the same time we are. Well, yeah, we, we didn't have just listeners, uh, full disclosure. We didn't like have a map out a big like, here's we're going to talk about it each episode. It's like Nothing. just like here's when we started. Let's try to trigger some memories because it's been a long time. And some of those years were hazy, you know, uh, <laughs> or just full of hazy IPAs, you know. Um, Very well said. Well, and um, so we get into it and oh, oh, this, 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 right? So I feel like, you know, if you're, if you're a real OBS fan or like a hardcore OBS fan or just a, even a casual fan, you're going to see, hear some cool stuff. And I think if you're just a, a music fan or a fan of the industry in general, I mean, I hope that we're at sharing our story is really like, here's what it takes to, to make it in the music biz. And every path is different, but I think, so all we can talk about is our path, but it's been a hell of a, it's been a hell of a, of, a, of a journey, you know? That's where I think the greatest value comes from all of this, is if you are a band and you're out there grinding and you're trying to figure out how do we become successful, so many tips, like you share so many tips about what to do, what not to do, and they always come with a hilarious story. Like the laughing, like you can hear us laughing all the time during this thing. Like it's, well, I guess you can't because you're in the zone, but we're all <laughs> around here while we're producing and recording. And like you got some spit takes from us, man. Like there's some really funny stuff in there, along with the emotional stuff. Yeah, well, thank you, man. I mean, it's uh, it feels cool. I think for Shane and I, it's like it it is kind of symbolic. It's it's a big, you know, it's our twentieth year. Like I never thought we'd be together for twenty years, and not only that, I, I feel like we're right now. We just listened to the the new EP. We got six song EP coming out, 
and I'm just no big deal. I'm so just proud of uh, uh, of us, and it's a gift to be doing it, and that's like part of it's on us for for getting through it all and whatever, but it's a lot of it's on our fans and our supporters for like supporting us all these years, right? And yeah. so it's like it's like as you say, this is your show, right? the listener. OBS, this is your band, right? Like, you know, we wouldn't be here if not for the, the big support, right? Especially from this city. And one more thing before we let you uh, get back to it. We, as this being your show, the guests that come in, like a couple days ago, we had Curtis Anderson here, and he was telling stories about interviewing you guys for the first time at the old band house. And I was like, you should hear the stories about the band house. Like, that's like a whole yeah. episode on its own. And then other guys will come in here and they'll talk about OBS. Like, everybody has a story. It's so cool that you say, you know, it's not our band, it's everyone's band, because that's literally how it feels, even from the people that just walk through these doors. I love that, man. You know, honestly, I feel, you know, there's two different approaches in rock and roll. You can be like the the Oasis, uh, we talk about you know, the, the asshole to your yeah. fans. I kind of like that because, but it's because you're a drummer. Drummers uh, tend to go more so that way than most yeah, drummers need yeah. singers, right? Exactly. Like I, I kind of like, like I mean, Oasis. I just love because they're just funny. But they're and I think they're actually they probably love their fans, but they're just they kind of seem like assholes. But yep. anyways, you're okay. O to say OBS that. is like, it's maybe it's just because we're from Saskatchewan and, and we're, we're both actually from smaller towns, Shane and I, and in Saskatoon, and. You know, it's like I've always just taken the approach that like every fan really fucking matters and and like we're just tight with our fans, right? So when he did that show at Sastel Center, cool. you know, seven thousand people or whatever came. I walked out there with my son and, and just walked through the crowd just to meet everyone. Yeah. And it's like, you know, on the outside it looks like I'm doing it for the fans. Yes, but also I'm doing it for me. It's such a it's such a gift to go out there and just like feel that love, right? Instead of just partying backstage and coming out for the show only like I go out there and I feel it and I think that's like you know and I know Shane's the same and it's just I think it's a real sense of gratitude that we get to do this 20 years in and have that feeling still you know absolutely and again we have a huge sense of gratitude uh, to you and Shaner for joining us on this journey and allowing us to produce it and put it out for you so thank you again as one bad pod has officially dropped earlier this morning you can find it on all the uh Apple Pods and the Spotify's and the YouTube's and all that stuff. I believe we got all the versions up and running. So, uh, congratulations, man! You did it. Now let's just uh, enjoy the ride, I guess. Hey, eh? let's go. <laughs> it's a great way to end it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, the great KD from One Bad Pod. You may also know him from the uh, over 800 episodes we did of KD and Me. That number keeps going up, so we sort of add to it. But I believe it's close to damn near 800 episodes back at the old place so uh all the love to him and to shaner and uh, congratulations on the big launch you can find it what was i supposed to say network right anywhere you can find is all i got down there anywhere you can find that's where you'll find the one bad pod so be sure to check that out friday tradition i love how this show right here your show has developed traditions we have guests who you've come to expect dare i say look forward to when the day comes that they are supposed to be here and this one about to walk up right now may be one of my favorite phenom if you want to go ahead and hit me that uh that walk up music again we'll get her up here ladies and gentlemen without further ado to end off your week it's hardcore yeah, there she is. Oh, you even got Maggie's attention. Look at that. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Get it in there. There you go. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. It's Friday. The yeah. sun's shining. You can't, you can't hear the music either. No. It just adds to it. Man. What, what is it? So it's the Paperboy theme from the video game, but it's done in a, dare I say, a, a hardcore way. With mouth guitar or a real guitar? Mouth, mouth guitar. <laughs> that would be pretty. If it was, what would it be like? Boop, 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 boop. But our buddy Matt from all the bands, uh, he did a quick little shred on him. It's just awesome. It's perfect for walk up music. So. Oh, and so it's done by Matt? Yeah. Matt no. Cuthbertson from all the bands. Yeah. You guys should have, you should have been playing it out loud. Well, we can't because with microphones, they, ah, get, you see. get reverb and stuff. Hi, Margaret. Stuff. You brought Maggie up here. I did. Okay, Hi. so uh, if you don't know Hardcore as Gimmick yet, she is from the Past <laughs> Our Bedtime podcast. See, I'm getting good at remembering that, right? Yeah, you're the good. The Past Our Bedtime podcast with our uh, best pal, Brixie. They got an amazing show, and it's all about stuff you talk about before or, yeah, I guess before bed. Yeah. Yeah. With your best friend. And it's super funny. What do you guys always say? You're not going to learn anything, but you might laugh. 
Yeah, you will never get this time back. That's it. You probably won't learn anything, but we will probably entertain you. Yeah, and I, I, I've been entertained every time, so yeah. I just want you to know I'm, I'm a and huge fan myself. We should have an episode this Sunday. We took a little bit of a break. We, you, you know, guys life, had a lot going on. Life's... You guys were all doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm very excited for the this Sunday. You're saying this Sunday. Perfect. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure it's coming out. I'll be sure to uh, repost it or whatever <laughs> it is I do to. Get that, like, I like that. Share. I'm going to make sure to share it. Share it. I'm always sharing your episodes. Uh, she is also, I want to say, the queen of elixirs. Or Not the queen. a, well, hold on. Uh, what, what's the name of those people? An alchemist? Uh, we call you an alchemist? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think that's the word. You do have a cauldron and an entire shelf full <laughs> of these different things that you use. Yeah, I took to a picture. Tea. I was going to send it to you, but I didn't. I, I, you said you didn't like texting, so I didn't want to. Well, no one likes texting, do they? But well, if I'd it's a picture text of your. Than yeah, call. That's, that's, that's a whole other show right there. <laughs> that's how society's gone in the, the toilet there. Yeah. But we won't dwell on that. What, so she shows up here with her special teas, and there's so many different ones. You brought in, like, I have this sleepy time tea that you got. Okay. Special sleep time. What's I, it called? Uh, Sleepy time tea, yeah? It is. But it, I hadn't drank it in a long time because oh, I'm like... Oh, you must have got conked. Oh my God, yeah. I slept so I told you. Last night. I told you. I, told I wasn't you. just saying it. <laughs> well, you did tell me first, but yeah. I guess we both know. So there was that one and then you had the immunity. Immunity. So this which is Which I really enjoy. It's immunity again. I'm still trying to fight oh, something. So However, good. this is a clean cup. I made it. I had not drank out of it. But I also brought <laughs> some dry stuff in so you could take a look at it. And okay. you can like, give me your honest... Um, opinion on it. It's pretty, it's beautiful, isn't it? It looks like granola. Yeah. I look, I feel like I should be eating like a, what's a trail mix? It looks like a little trail mix. Yeah. But there's uh, really lavender too. in there, um, rose hips, echinacea. <laughs> I got a new one. It's like a, I don't know how to say it. I just know how to spell it. It's a root that's kind of like ginger, but it's a, an um, immune let's, system let's, booster. Let's spell it. I want to know. G A. And A L A G or something like that. Ganelger. Yeah. Ganelger. My favorite root. Yeah, it's good. It's Next a new to one. cramp root. Or is that cramp root? Cramp bark. Cramp bark. Man, it's I'm for, the worst alchemist. Yeah. I suck at I'm this. also still learning, right? And I've been taking this for like a week now. And because I've been fighting this oh, illness. It just, it just when it hits my nose. I know. It's, it's so good. Well, it's, most of them kind of smell like dirt. Not this one. <laughs> and I will but say that the, the sleepy time one smells and it, a it's, earthy. yeah, it's a little hard. Yeah. Not like this. Yeah. Uh, but so, I only had to take Buckley's twice this whole week. That's a win. Because of this. I yeah, swear it's I'm because of this. You. And uh, I did explain to you that my brain is very, very strong when it comes to most things because my body is always in chronic pain. Yeah. So I've developed this thing where I use like placebo effect to make me think stuff works. So that's basically how I'm operating now. And this stuff works. What kind like of pain do stuff. you have? Oh, I have chronic neck pain, and then it's worked its way down. Like, my elbows are horrific right now. I got all sorts of things. We're not going to sit here and talk about my pains. Well, I my point is, you heal me. You are the, <laughs> the alchemist, okay. bringing all the good stuff. Yeah, I'll make you a tea for your pain. And what else? I also sent an order in for you to make a uh, energy and focus tea that I could yeah. drink for this show. How, how's that coming along? Anything? So, I did it one day, but I've been just drinking this. Yeah, I guess you're not feeling good. Feel I shouldn't be putting you to work when you're not. I just, I believe so much in the power of your teas. Thank I you. feel like we should really be pushing this because, you know, everybody nowadays, they say, oh, something's wrong. Yeah, you go pop a pill for all that. It's true. And it's just horrible and it breaks you. And I've been broken by all that stuff. So, as a guy who's been through it, it's like, this is how I want to fix myself. Yeah. This I, is it. But also, I kind of believe in the pills once in a while. Like, well, of course. Sometimes you need antibiotics. There's a, <laughs> like, I'm talking more, more about the, uh, like, Back in my day when I really enjoyed them, the hydromorphones and the oxys, like oh, the okay. troublemakers. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not yeah. talking about actual medicine medicine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about the stuff that can take you down a bad road. So the sleepy time tea, one of the herbs in it is actually um, used in substitute for like Xanax. Jeez. Is that crazy? That is crazy. And that's what I'm talking about, the power of these things. Yeah. I just, I want to do it legally. So that's why I haven't been selling it yet. <laughs> I ordered, I ordered no, it two bulk. times. I shouldn't drink anymore. This is ridiculous. I'm going to end up with this spitting everywhere. <laughs> it's so hot too. Look at it steaming. Yeah. I took a little one on the lips there. Yeah. But it's, and it goes right back to the cauldron. Hey, it's fresh out the cauldron. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. I should, that's beautiful. I should have a cauldron. I actually went and bought a bunch of jars from uh, Walmart, like big jars. Well, yeah. I you of... said you have so many of these different types. What do you call these things? Like herbs and barks? Concoctions. And concoctions. You have so many concoctions. Yeah. 
And the world needs your concoctions. Yeah, thank is you. what I'm what I'm here to say. So thank yeah. you for bringing these things in. And I'm going to keep bugging you until we can sell them on the website legally, of course. I'm trying. I just got to do it legally. Yeah, no, and I get it. Yeah. So uh, something to look forward to. We're going to have music to download. We're going to get the intro on there so you can download the website. <laughs> for concoctions? Yeah. Let's not... Network Ryan thinks he's so funny sometimes. He looks funny. He just said... her. Okay, we're not going to get that. That was funny too. <laughs> so we're going to look at... We got merch coming in. We got music you're going to be able to download. And I really want to push these organic concoctions from yeah. the alchemist cheers. herself cheers here we go i'm gonna burn my lips again mm -hmm. it's really hot it i made so enough good. for Bur brooksy so too. Good. yeah it shout out to brooksy she's uh she's uh going through a little bit she's a little under the it's funny how everyone's just a little under the weather and i'm, I'm happy you got through and you're on the other side now but she'll yeah. be with us next week as we uh, get the gang back together i'm so excited i miss her i haven't seen her in a long time imagine how we feel i know yeah like i i get it you guys do a show, but she's like a huge part. She has Wendy Brooks Media, man. Yeah. Like, I have to text her all the time with stuff. I was like, hey, Brooksy, someone's social there media again. There it is. There Brooks. it is. Brooksy. 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 Yeah. yeah. The best. She's the best. Oh, I love her. And a hell of a host, too, on your show, by the oh, way. Oh, and she's just, everyone needs a little, little Wendy in their life. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. So, as we roll into the weekend, this has sort of become your slot. Normally, you show up with a big list of all these things you want to talk about and you want to get to, and you know, you're so responsible. Yeah. I feel like you pulled a Gary today and you're just, you're just doing it the proper way of never prepping. Prepping is so overrated when it comes to stuff like this, because then you're like, okay, tell me about Temple of Doom being 40 years old. <laughs> is it 40 years old? Last week. I missed it. Oh. Uh, but I will say something very controversial right now. If there's any Indiana Jones fans in the house, Temple of Doom is the best Indiana Jones movie. Come at me, bro. Well, he's not even looking right now. He's not even looking. You like Temple of Doom? I like all of them. I feel like that could be a movie I would live in. I would. You want to live in Temple uh, of Doom? Well, like. Are you joking me now? <laughs> no, I feel like. What? I would be good at being one of the. What are they? What was he called? What was Indy called? An anthro. Apologist? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that could. Okay. So, but you wouldn't want to be it. Like, out of all the movies, like, you're, you want to go down and. I could be Indian. Lava Town and cover your heart, Indy. Cover your heart. Yeah, you want to get. Hold down. Hola, Hashima. Like, all that stuff. No. Yeah, like, I don't know. Or, like, Short Round. You know, not Action. He crazy. Yeah. yeah. He's famous again now. He, yeah, he's huge. Yeah. What is, what's his movie? Everything, Everywhere, All the Times? Have you seen it? No. I, I haven't seen a movie in years. I'm horrible. I love movies. I have a membership with Cineplex and I go once a month and I go by myself and it's the best day ever. I went by myself one time to a movie mm -hmm. and it was the best ever. Yeah. You don't have to share your yeah. popcorn. You can like go yeah. early or be late. Doesn't you matter. Can just stretch out. Yeah. Just sit wherever right you want. Yeah. See whatever movie you want. It's. That's a big part of it. Yeah. It's so hold best. on a second. I, I feel like we just glossed right over the fact that you are a card carrying member of the cinematic community. Is that Yeah. Correct? I pay $9.99 a month, which comes out to. 1109 with taxes you get um one movie ticket <clears throat> which is fine because the movie tickets are like what 16 or 15 you're or already saving dollars. money yeah then that you, doesn't make sense you get a second ticket at a discounted price it just depends on what experience you want because if you want the d box or if you want you know yeah VIP, you pay a little bit more okay and then you get 20 percent off at the concession it's all, it's worth it to me. It's like an excuse to get out of the house to get away from the kids and the husband. I can be like, it's my movie night, gotta go. Sorry, mom's out. Yeah. We got we got a new Indiana Jones to go watch. Yeah. Holy cow. Have I you seen the new one? No. Oh, you have not watched a movie in a long time. The it's, new one's okay. It took me a little bit. I was hoping it's a lot better than just okay. I'm this one it's on my list. Uh, like a hundred movies I need to watch that I missed over the last like three years. They did that one's really right good up there. CGI with indie because they like Making are he's like young in yeah. it. And I was like, what? How do they do that? Movies That's pretty these days. Cool. What did uh, does no one still talk about the Crystal Skull movies? Or movie, I guess it was. It was good, wasn't it? I, apparently everyone hated it. Just hated it because that Shine the Buffs guy was in it and no one likes that guy. I like that guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, Wasn't he a transformer or something? He was a transformer. He's also yeah. like a, an abuser and stuff. But so well, I kind of like that's great. Like in real life. So way to way to hardcore down this, <laughs> hardcore down her a little bit. Let's get yeah. back on. So that's why he has not been in around in the movies. Yeah. Well, we don't need him. Uh, I don't like the guy anymore either. Yeah, okay. I don't think I ever did, but yeah. Either way, so you go to the movie by. I I just I I want to get my head around this because yeah. it sounds like someone's losing money there. How is that an operational? Is it because they're getting you in there and you're paying, be it at a discount for your popcorns well, and your such? Most people take somebody, right? 
So oh. you get a tip. You they make money there, okay. and then yeah, you. I mean, most people buy stuff at the concession, and that costs a fortune. I mean, even with a discount, I can yeah. get I can get a small popcorn, a nacho. Here I take some of the stuff home to my husband, and a what large a drink, life. and it's like nineteen dollars. Yeah. With my discount. You know and what really gets me, and I've done this once before, is when you order from the theater you order popcorn and it shows up to your door popcorn and a hot dog and you pay that 20 bucks or whatever plus the 20 dollars to get to your door oh I've yeah done that. oh like like, like, like doordash like, or yeah like sort. one of those things the home delivery people they can go to the movie theater load yeah. you up and bring it to your house i know people that just go to the movie theater to get food and then leave like it's the popcorn so crazy I, I get it i get the stigma because it does taste so good yeah but is it twenty dollars worth of good? I don't know. I, I'm a popcorn connoisseur. Are you? Yeah, I have I have multiple different types of popcorn makers. What are your favorite types of popcorn toppings? Hmm. I mean, it depends on the week and the day. But dill pickle for the most yeah, part. Dill pickle, everyone. I love dill pickle too. Yeah. Uh, movie theater sponsors. Something to think about. Yeah. Defernab.com. Hit us up. I was talking and I was telling uh, Network Ryan about this. A uh, fellow has reached out to us, who knows Royal Anders, who is our Mr. Website Man and Mr. Everything. And uh, he's got uh, some connections with one of the theaters in town that we might be uh, hooking up with. So uh, to him, we will be in touch once we can get to you. We've been real busy launching this One Bad Podcast, but uh, you are on the list of people for us to get back to. just want to say that as far That's exciting. as movie people. Maybe we could get like a Dufferin Avenue Media Network movie night going on. Oh there. my, I would love it. Would you be able to operate that? I don't, I, I would have to look at the details. Well, no, I, I just mean like, no, I don't, <laughs> I don't mean it like that. I mean, like make this like your dream. Like if you could take over a theater for a night, what would you do? Oh. How would you run it? That's what I'm saying as in operate it. Would I? Like what would, kind of foods would you offer? What oh, kind of services are we looking at? Am I looking at making money? No, just oh, we're looking just at, if you're time? a part of this Dufferin Avenue Media Network family, you're coming out, we're having a fun night. What are we doing? I'm inviting all my friends. And families, they can go there for free. <laughs> Are we worried? It's about supposed this? to be for us here, this family, your oh. Dufferin Avenue Media Network family. I just want to know what we're serving, what's going up, what movies are you playing? I don't know. I'd have I'm to trying to do a that. hardcore out, <clears throat> like uh, one of those things called when you write stuff down. Okay, well, we'd have hot tubs there, or we'd Ooh, have a pool of tub. some sort, so you like could float this. around. We would have snow cones. Don't you get cold in theaters? I guess that's why you run a hot tub. It couldn't be a kiddie pool. Yeah, well, you didn't okay. say if it had any. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not putting any restraints on this. You yeah, go. it could be an outdoor thing. Have you ever gone to an outdoor movie? I actually did. I went and saw Tommy Boy at Sass Tell Center in a vehicle. Yeah, it's fun. It was the worst. The movie was great. Yeah, the, it is a good movie. Yeah, drive ins. Is the, that the last time you watched a movie <laughs> at the theater of some sort? Just no, kidding. That's so maybe, old. That's maybe like front to back. Years. It was a while ago. Yeah. Anyways, back to your fantasy. Yeah, I don't know. Hot tubs, snow cones. How many different flavors of toppers do you got for your popcorn? Every kind that you could possibly get. Because okay. you never know who's going to show up and want that weird stuff. What's what's considered weird stuff? I hate to put you on the spot right now. I don't know, like bacon and That's green onion? Weird. That's not weird at all. I would love that. If you could put bacon and green onion on my popcorn, along with a big thing of butter and maybe some dill pickle. So I can bring that for you next week. I would... I don't know what I would do. That'd probably be the end of it. I have a lot of my, flavors. My, my brain would explode. You and your alchemist ways are just And everywhere. I have fresh green onions in my garden right now. Of course you do. We haven't even talked about the gardening. Oh, okay, let's get into the up. garden. It's all coming up. Was that your first appearance on here when we talked about the garden? Maybe. Yes. When you got your, your yeah. hardcore, ba hardcore bandana yeah, that's from Uncle Mike's? Best day. It's in my car. I forgot yeah, it again. again. Dang it. That's right. You wear it when you drive Dang. so people know you're hardcore. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and listen to metal with my uh, yes. sunroof open. That's uh, it. Anyway, it's all coming up. Not one thing has not it's all sprouted. It's coming up. Okay. Yeah, and so anyway, I'm excited. What do um, we What do we got there? Tell us about the hall. I have to visualize it. We have okay. cucumbers, yes. two different kinds, three different types of tomato, uh, two different types of lettuce, three different types of onion, carrots, turnips, beans, peas, potatoes. So when you say three different types of tomatoes, I will say this. My favorite Twitch streamer of all time his name is Arcus. He's a vegan cowboy from Arizona who moved to Seattle. And he is a world record holder for a bunch of different speed runs on Twitch on the Nintendo Entertainment System. And Arcus just, does, just so happens to do a little side gig show where it's called Gardening with Arcus. 
And it turns out he's a vegetarian. Actually, I might even be a vegan. So he is all about his tomatoes. And he has like, probably I think six or seven different types. So I was going to call you. I'm like, what do you mean different tomatoes? But I know about cherry tomatoes. Yeah. And I know about beefsteak tomatoes. Yeah, I got those too. And a that's heirloom? as far as my tomatoes go. Heirloom's another. I didn't know yeah. that. But Arcus taught me about all of that. Yeah. So I uh, shout out to him and Twitch as our Twitch channel gets up. Mary, was that Maraschino? Maraschino? Those are those sweet ones you put on top of Sundays. That's a cherry. Oh, oh, I thought that's what he said. Yeah, so did I. I don't know. I <laughs> okay. can't hear anything. It must be a Friday. But uh, all the love to Arcus and uh, check him out as he runs all sorts of speed runs on Twitch. I'm very oh. excited to do the Twitch. Are you going to Twitch with us at all over there? I don't know what games you got. Well, what do you want to play? Mm, probably Donkey Kong. On, uh, uh, yeah, so you and Nintendo. Brooksy, yeah. Oh, is that also what she likes? Well, no, she wants to, she wants to bring the 64 because she's a 64 mm. girl because she's very not... Old, like a but you can get all those games on emulators Switch. and you can do this and that yes but we like if you want to have it and here's a little tip for anyone wanting to start a okay. twitch channel which i'm sure there might be one out there in the universe as it's a lot of work is what we're learning you need a crt tv that big ass thing that, that took three box. of us to bring out from the house yeah okay and you need it to be hard linked to your nintendo entertainment system no emulators or any of that stuff because you have to have a true connection or else you can't play nes open or any other games where you have to time your buttons right okay so this is why this is going through the process right now because it's so specific for us to uh, chase all these world records on Twitch as we start streaming. That's exciting. But the, the, the fun part is we will have those different systems in here as well. And you see that big mic over top. It just hangs yes. out. So we all just hang out in there and we play and we do our gaming and it just records us all right there like that. That's cool. So you and Brooksy and the rest of us, we can all sit there and just game out and just tell stories and stuff and it goes on our Twitch So channel. you never leave the studio. That's the plan. I like to say it every single chance I get. The biggest reason I built this place was so my friends would have to come to me and I never have to leave the house again. That's why. That's the truth. Because I'm so introverted. I'm so horrified. Every time I leave the house and I'm driving, there's at least one or two people you have to honk at because they're all looking at their phones and they're about to run into something. Oh, God. And me. if they're not oh. doing that, people are walking across the street and run to poles. Like People are so out of control outside of this little safe space that I've tricked everyone to come in here and hang out with me. Yeah. And, and then at the same time, but this is it. It's not a negative because while my friends come here, we start talking about doing good things and building up karma and making the world a better place. So crap like that, that happens out there doesn't happen as often anymore. Yeah. And then we're not so scared to go out. Do you get the sun on you ever though? It's important. I got some sun in the back patio there. That's good. That's all yeah. that matters. You got a little bit of sun on you. Yeah. I hear it's really good for your uh, skin. <laughs> And, and every, like, your whole well-being. Well, you are the alchemist. Can you uh, put any science behind that, or is it just uh, trust in the sun? No, I think that, I think there is actual science around, around it. I could find it. Science it probably is saying something yeah. good about getting some sunshine. But you were saying about drivers. So Wendy and I want to do a couple podcasts about things that make us really happy. Like the oh, little I things love that. in life that make yes. you happy that wouldn't probably make anybody else happy. But another one is things that make you upset that probably don't like they don't it doesn't do anything to anybody else it just like upsets you a little just bit really grinds your gears yes yeah. and most of mine so i started a list because oh i boy. come prepared and they have to do with driving like not like other people driving or like how many would like, you say have to do with driving because you make four. that sound like it's a lot like i have a list of maybe seven or eight because you I mean, we only do we it don't for want, a half Hey, we hour. don't want to give away too much about the, uh, is that going to be the latest episode? I'll or tell you up one. Soon, uh, past we haven't bedtime? even, we haven't Okay, good. It. So this is a good little teaser. But I'll tell you one, is people who have all that garbage in their dash, how do you drive with all that stuff on there? All those papers and teddy bears and those like sundial things. Like, how do you turn the corner and it not go anywhere? Also, what, how is that not a distraction? It bothers me. Would you consider spider webs and dust? In that category. No, because you can see through that, I okay. feel like. And the Good. dust just is like on the dash. My not... 493, Stella the Shadow, uh, she's, she, needs a, she needs a rub down. She's got a lot of dust in there. Because again, I don't leave the house as often <laughs> yeah. as possible. So, so she just, just gathers dust. dust and spider webs. And you don't park her in the garage, right? And no. so they get protected from the elements. Yeah, but she's such a magnificent steed. I love that car so much. How long have you had her? Oh, man. Well, it's been in the family since 93. Grandma bought a brand new in 93. Yeah. And then I failed my driver's test five times in that same vehicle. And then it went out to Vancouver to my brother's place. And then I drove it all the way back on the Coquihalla. She only maxed out at 85K going up the Coquihalla Hills. <laughs> 
we were getting like speed pass by semis going 140 honking. I was like, I'm sorry, it's pedal to the metal. And she's crying over here and he's yelling back. I'm like, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. You got to rock a little it. bit so you go. Yeah, it was bad. Like it was yeah. really bad. But she made it and she's here and it's the greatest car. You failed ever. five times? Yeah, it Maybe awesome. it's a good thing you're not on the road. One time, well, get this. It wasn't because I was a bad driver. <laughs> okay. One time. I got in and it was the lady who had failed me a couple of times before and I just put my seatbelt on and she did this one. She goes, <sighs> and I looked at her. I said, what was that? She's like, nothing. Go ahead and pull out, please. No, you need to tell me because now I'm going to think about it the whole time and I'm going to make right? more mistakes. Right. So now it's in my head and we go around the corner and the very first stop we make is at a four way and it's a red light. And I looked at her. I was like, I failed already. Haven't I? She's like, I don't know. Oh. Like, All right. I just signaled that to Turned left on the race. She goes, what are you doing? Oh, my God. It's like, well, I'm done. Why am I going to waste my time here? <laughs> you balled it right in the middle of the intersection. Went back, parked, said, we'll see you next time. Oh. I was so upset. Yeah, I'd be upset, too. I'm pretty sure she probably pooped her pants. <laughs> she was not impressed. So that was, I mean, number three? Three or four. Mm. Then we nailed on the fifth one because we didn't have her, of course, because she has this pre-distinguished thought of me as a driver. Absolutely. Yeah, abs I get ridiculous i, I would have hated that too some guy was really mean to me in the parking lot at dollarama the other day <laughs> and i literally was like this is my fault because i think that people are so kind but he was so mean to me i was so rattled I was why like, was he mean oh uh, what I did don't he say i don't do okay, i want to put that get, into no, the no, energy no, i don't, don't. want to put that into nope. the world but nope, you don't. he <clears throat> hit my car with his car door when i was sitting in it and well, i was like we just said we didn't want to talk about it you're still going on it he was he didn't he wasn't even sorry of course not People like that, this is what I'm talking about when I say I don't want to go out there because that's what all of out there is. Yeah. We need to focus on the good stuff as we try to build it back up. We have to start saying to each other, guess what? You are more important than I am. Let's put other people before ourselves. Yeah. When you hit that door, think about the other person. I'm so sorry. Like, what, I, no, what he kind purposely of was doing it. He purposely did because he was that's not That's the type sorry. of crap we got to get rid of. Yeah, and then saying. I was mad at myself because I'm like, I just believe everyone's good out there. No one. They, and that makes me the most upset. Because oh. we need to fix yeah, that. And that's what do. this place is all about. So we'll leave it there as yeah. I don't, like you showed up without anything. And we just went on forever. Like we could talk for hours. We could, yeah. We should have a marathon one day and just talk. Okay. I'll make a tea for My that. My mom will watch it up. for sure. Yeah. And the energy tea that I was telling you about, the energy and focus <laughs> yeah. tea. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Hardcore, okay. thank you. We're going to walk you off because okay. we got a special guest to play us out this weekend. Hey, can we play walk off music one more time? Thanks Before, for having me. As I throw, hold on, hold on. We've got to wait for the music. It's going to okay. be way cooler. There it is. All right, now you can okay. spread it off. Spread it off. Hardcore, everybody. Woo, look at that. Drop the gun. All right. Special guest. Is he ready? Network Ryan. We, have, we are bringing in a professional pianist to play us out today. As it's the Friday edition. And uh, this young man has yet to make his debut on your show. He's been around numerous times. But... He has not gotten here on stage. Come on through. Can we play the walk-up music again for him? This is so good. It's just a non-stop walk-up. This is fantastic. All right, here he comes. Let's go ahead and run that walk-up music. Are we going to mic him up or earpiece him up so he can play? Of course. Not. Hey, if only we had a place we could go to get custom ones. We're working on it. Ladies and gentlemen, get up for Valor! <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right, now, quick question for you. Have you ever played a piano before? No. Um, Never? Not, I don't play it that much. Okay. I don't even know how to play them. Okay, but you have seen how you go like this, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, one more quick question for you. Did you eat any candy today? Yes, I ate okay. lots. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to make sure because uh, it totally looks like you didn't. So I was, I was like, I'm hoping he got some candy in him. This is good. We're going to need all of your candy, sugar, energy to play us out, okay? Uh, Phenom, I believe we are ready for the final edition of this week's uh, Your Show and Frankie's Fingers. Let's go ahead. All right, there, you're on. Play it up. That's good. A little slower, a little slower, a little more. Yeah, there you go. Ah, what a week. To the producers, all of them. The Dragon, the Phenom, LB, thank you for always uh, keeping us on the road and getting us through these incredibly fun live shows. I, it still blows my mind. It's like 39th one we've done. It feels like it was yesterday. It's so cool. Uh, thank you to uh, the Phenom's dad, Curdy Anderson, who's in the house. All of our guests, man. Uncle Mike was here. Matt from all the bands was here. 
We had our buddy Greg here. That was awesome. Shout out to Greg. Uh, coach was in the house. Uh, Adrian Malarzon zoomed us from Australia. My old coach, family friend, love him to death. Uh, again, Uncle Mike, Dam20. That code's still going. Use Dam20 at UncleMike'sAllNatural.com. You get some discounts there. He would never dare. Your dad is, yeah, he doesn't hear these things, so you can't hear. Uh, we never ask people to do anything around here. But if you would be uh, so inclined to uh, join the party, we would love to have you here. Head over to DufferNab.com. Uh, the biggest news of the day, one bad pod officially released. You can head to the YouTube page, check it out. You can also find it. Let me check my notes. Anywhere you can find. So head on over to there and get all those shows. Spotify's, Apple Casts, YouTube stuff. You know, without the visuals. It's all there, and you're going to love it. Anything else you want to say, young man, before we head on out? Make sure to like and subscribe. How long did you tell him to do that? I, I saw you prepping him over there. You, did he tell you? Did, what he didn't tell you is what happens if anyone says that on you. You ready for this? Yeah, you, you got messed up, dog. All right, Dad's going to punish you for that one. But uh, we will be back on Monday, 4 p.m. Until that time, have the best weekend of your life. And do not forget, okay? Do good things. You will have good things happen to you. I promise you, karma is very real. Real Citywide food drive, saskatoonfoodbank.org. Go get hooked up. We are going to talk to Lori, executive director, next week and make our donation. Looks like it's going to be around uh, $450. Pretty good. Pretty good donation. Have a great weekend. Again, enjoy One Bad Pod. Valor, anything else you want to say? Bye. Say bye. Bye bye. There it is. Nailed it, buddy. Good job.